Look who it is. It's Mike himself. How's it going, bro? Alright, bro. Good. Uh, where are we today? Manchester City Centre today. We're to Manchester today. Good, good to see you, bro. Well, I thought I'd ask you a question, mate. What do you think of this debate between Mohammed Hijab and David Wood? I've had my my views. Hi, right, John. How's it going, John? Right, you okay? You? You okay? Do you want, do you want to answer the question as well? It's about David Wood and the Mohammed Hijab debate. To be honest with you, I've only seen a little bit of it, um, so I can't really comment on it. Is he going to be debating uh, Christine Prince as well? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know enough about it, to be honest with you, to, um, <laughs> to comment on it. It's good to see you, John. Good to see you, God bless you, yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm just asking him about Mohammed Hijab and the debate David Wood. Do you want to give your, your rundown quick? Like, yeah. What do you think, Mike? I watched the debate with Mohammed Hijab and David Wood. And I have come to this conclusion, and this is a conclusion I've always held, but it's now held more strongly in my heart, that Islam is indefensible. It's undefendable, unless you're totally ignorant. Because yeah. in the debate, Mohammed Hijab said, um, to, he corrected David Wood and he said, um, Muhammad, sorry, Allah was not praying to the Prophet, he was praying for the Prophet, but the question still remains, who was he praying to? So Mohammed Hijab, you need to answer that question. Who was Allah praying to? Because when one prays to something, that means he's praying to something other than himself. He can't yeah, pray to yeah. himself. And you always say to Christians, who was Jesus praying to in the Garden of Gethsemane? Was he praying to himself? This is the same argument you bring to us Christians. But we can answer that question because we believe in a triune God. You just believe in a Unitarian deity that is so far out of time and space that no one knows who he is, let alone yourselves. So Mike, Mike's trying to pull me out of retirement. <laughs> get, get me to go to Hyde Park. So we might be going in January, John. Okay. So anything else you want to say, bro, to to the people down at Hyde Park? Yeah, we're, we're coming back. You know what? If you want to challenge us on the on who Jesus is, um, we can actually show to you guys that the Bible is the er errant word of God, and that the Quran is not the word of God. We only have to use your beliefs, and um, we have great arguments. If you can deal with the arguments, great, bring it on. But let me say this, you better be prepared, bros. Yeah, God we've got bless some, you. We've got some good arguments against is you. It, is it in your experience and my experience that basically the main guys are running away from us? They are, yeah, they're running away. They run away from us, don't they? It, it says in the Bible that a man, um, the evil flee when the good, when the, uh, what, is it when the good appear or yeah, something yeah, like that? Life, life. So there's a saying in the Bible about the wicked fleeing in the presence of the of the good, so, of so the righteous. We're coming down in January, a uh, couple of gunslingers down at the OK Corral. <laughs> if you want to deal with us, come and deal with us, but you'll keep running like you always do. God bless you, and love to everybody, God bless. Thanks Mike. Anything else before we go? Uh, that's it, that's it, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. God bless you now.